good to go. See, quicker than you, Colin. Name a title, please, Mr. Owen. Bob Irwin, wildlife activist, angry little bugger. He reads <laughs> shit like this. <laughs> What? Well, on the one thing under I, think, I think that'll fit. Good to go. Good to go. Well, what, what do you make of that? That was in the Korea Mail yesterday saying um, <coughs> the, the effect of urbanisation is, is scaring these people off in the Cape. Oh, you know, I think if urbanisation scares people off in the Cape, that's, a, you know, I mean, that's a really good thing. Uh, you know, especially crocodile farmers. Uh, you know, when you, when you read this document really, really thoroughly, it is filled with lies, innuendo, and I, and I don't think there's anything much in here that's true whatsoever. They are, they are talking about scientific research proving that the collection of crocodile eggs in Queensland is sustainable. They have no proof whatsoever. They, 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 they have tried this rubbish for years and years and years, and everybody has condemned it. It's, it's a business for them up there though and they're saying that they're really struggling whereas people in the Northern Territory are allowed to do it. What would you say to that? Should they have ever had their business there in the first place? That's what I'd say. Some of these crocodile farms in Cape York... See, you have to remember, Cape York crocodiles are nowhere near as numerous as in the Northern Territory. Never have been, never ever will be because we don't have the breeding areas for these crocodiles. Go back a few years. It's not that long ago, 1970s, where we were faced with the possibility of crocodiles becoming extinct in this state. This, this sort of thing is going to turn us back to that time. And uh, we've been hearing lots of reports after the big wet with heaps of crocs around. I mean, for you, that'd be good news, don't you think? Wow. <laughs> Some people get a bit scared. Well, would you like to answer me answer that honestly? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, uh, you know, crocodiles will move during the wet. You know, all your streams are flooded and water spreads out. So, so to do the crocodiles. But as that water goes down, the crocs then go back to the rivers. However, an odd one may get caught into a dam or a swamp where they weren't there before. Um, but, but, but QPWS, the the uh, government authority on, on looking after our crocodiles do a, do a really good job. You know, they go out, they'll, they'll put traps in and they'll do all that sort of thing. The, the, the biggest threat to people in North Queensland with crocodiles is that they don't seem to be able to read the signs. There's a sign at every boat ramp, every river, every swamp, every little bathtub that's got a crocodile in it, there's a sign there. Now, some clown takes his dog down to the river. The dog gets eaten by the crocodile. Dogs can't read. And, 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 and that's what happened recently. So now they're blaming the crocodile for this person's stupidity in, a, in, in actually allowing that dog down to the river. So, you know, I get, I get really, really angry because it's very hard to protect people from themselves. These. These crocodiles have got a right to be here. We've got a, 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 a really special apex predator in North Queensland. We should try and keep that. And, and, and if people act responsibly, do the sensible thing, never a problem. It's only those that cannot read. They've been getting a pretty bad rap and they were pretty key in the state election campaign. We had the LNP saying that they will move them if they become too close. Catter's party saying, well, they'll just kill them if they get too close. What, what do you make of, of the crocodiles? I mean, this is, this is part of Queensland. Yes, yes, yes it is. And, 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 and North Queenslanders generally have learned to live with crocodiles. You know, we have tourists come up here and they don't know about crocodiles. They're having trouble reading too, some of those. However, the, the LNP, I've actually been in touch with the LNP, about their crocodile management programs and I am, I am more than happy, I've, I, I, I've been assured that crocodiles that pose a problem to anybody and I don't, I don't have a problem with this, those crocodiles must be moved out of that area. People and crocodiles don't mix. It's a very painful experience and, and sometimes it can be quite fatal as you well know.
the the situation with the Australian Catter Party, I'm absolutely horrified about that. He, the only thing Bob Catter wants to do is to kill all the wildlife. He wants to kill our crocodiles. He wants to kill our fruit bats. He wants to kill all our kangaroos. Uh, you know, I was I was so pleased that that the Catter Party failed miserably because that's what they deserve. How do you think Steve would feel about all the, the bad publicity these crops are getting? Um, look, a, a, as you can tell, I probably get a little bit worked up. Well, if if you think I get a bit worked up, you can imagine what Steve would be like. He would be a lot angrier than me, and, and you know, because I'm a bit older, I'm able to control it up to a point. Sometimes he lost the plot and 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 made it quite clear of his feelings, and 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 he would be horrified because he worked for years to to actually try to bring back those crocodiles from the brink of extinction to where they are now. And let's face it, you know, crocodiles are not found anywhere near the numbers that they used to be. Even when I was up in Queensland 30 or 40 years ago, you know? so um, you know, it's not as though they're coming down the main street of Cairns and terrorising people. Sure, they're in some of the rivers and that, but they get moved out, and and that's that's fine. But I will not, under any circumstances, agree to just this this killing of any of our native animals.